All right, so it seems like lately, um, and especially around tax season, I see this, but I see this in all times of the year with people. And it's when people don't follow up with something important and then last minute it bites them in the ass or it slaps them in the face. And what I mean is if you're trying to follow up with whatever, if it's a, if it's paying a bill, if it's a doctor's appointment, if it's filing your taxes, if it's buying a house and you've got to follow up with the lender or anything. And people always say, well, I sent an email. They should have gotten it. I haven't heard anything back. And it's like the last time they sent an email was like weeks ago. And so I just want to go into this of like how important it is to follow up for those watching. You always want to follow up with anything, especially financially related. Um, I know for sure that I do this, especially like if I'm buying a property, if I don't hear back with, within like an hour or two, and it's like very important. Sometimes I'll even ask Kirby, should I ask them again? <laughs> Cause I want to know an answer. I'm trying to like, just push this thing, this thing through. But so many people seem so calm and just like relaxed with just like letting things get way past due. And then last minute they're scrambling to get it done. And the truth is, especially if you are on the end where you need a service done for yourself. If you don't follow up, like let's say it's a bill. If you don't follow up, if you sent an email, just because you sent an email and if they didn't see it, just because they didn't see it doesn't mean that they're not going to charge you penalties and whatever. So I just want to know, Kirby, have you seen this happen? Am I the only one that sees this with people? Well, starting off, I, I didn't know where you was going at with this video. I ain't going to lie. Um, but, yeah, it's called procrastination. And that is the downfall of many people. And when I say many, I mean many people. I I, I have friends that I, they be like, hey, I need to get this done. And I'm like, why don't you not? Oh, I got time. And then the last day, due date, you know, it's showtime. Oh, I'm still getting this. I'm still getting this. Alex, hear me well. Everything that I do, and and I'm doing communications, the deadline could be where we in, we're in May now. The deadline could be October. I'm this is the bare minimum for me. Phone call, text message, email. Per day. That's the bare minimum. Bare minimum. Like literally, I don't even like like when when bills come. When bills come. I don't even like let's say, you know how electricity bills, you might get it on the you know the 14th, 15th, but it ain't due to like the third or fourth of the next month. Not me. It touchdown is getting paid. <laughs> yeah. I I I hate procrastination. I hate it with a passion. And then, you know, especially in this, this new, you know, PC world, this new technology age, people kill me when they say, oh, I sent them an email. Sent the email. That's it. You know, this is sensitive. This, this is danger close. Email ain't gonna cut it. If you ain't emailed them, call them, text them at the bare minimum, you ain't did nothing. Because, like you said, emails can get lost. It can go to the junk folder. I just remember setting up the, a deal that I'm going to do this weekend. I text the agent. I called the agent. And I left an email. And then she didn't reply. Six hours later, all three again. Then she replied on one. And every time, I did everything. I would text. Like she texts, I text back. Then I sent her an email. Then I called to make sure she got the email so we on the same page. But the idea of, hey, I didn't know, especially Dylan, you know, in different states and stuff like that, you know, they they time of procrastination, you know, is a little different. You know, they mo they motion a little, little slower than I like. So I'm speed up the process. 
because I'm just going to get on your nerves. So you can just be like, all right, I'm just going to do it now so he can leave me the hell alone. Because I prefer stuff to get done in time. So in case there's a hiccup, in case there's a problem, if I got to come up with the alternative action plan, if I got to if I gotta change my shot group, lift and shift fire, I got time to do that. But when you turn this stuff in, when it's due to first, you turn it in on the 31st, and then they come back to you. Oh, all of the paperwork on there. You got to pay a. You got to pay a penalty, a fine, or extra fee. Hell no. Uh. Uh-uh. I'm making sure everything is there, even when talking. Like uh, like Alex, I was telling you when you was when we was talking about it when you was doing that last deal. I was like, man, you might as well send all that stuff in right now. You might as well get it all out the way, so they can, you know, go. They can have it in their hands so now they can just tell you what you're missing. Don't wait till after you didn't got the inspection done, after you didn't did all the due diligence, got your uh insurance quote and all that, and then wait till the last minute, then they drop the ball. Cause as we talked about, we I I had a lender drop the ball. I sent them the paperwork the first day, everything they needed. And they still dropped the ball and I almost lost out on the deal. And I'm calling them all the time. And they just playing around, twiddling their thumbs. Oh, we got time. We got time. We got time. They're closing. Oh, oh, no, we're not ready. Don't worry about it. I was already prepared for this. I'll find another way to do it. But if I turn it at the last minute and they be like, oh, well, it's your fault. I, I can't pick up an alternative. But as long as, as soon as I turned in the paperwork, I was already thinking of second and third action plans in case they dropped the ball. And I've never had a lender drop the ball, but they happen to do it. But I already had a backup plan in the works. So that's just a that's just a thing people and and a lot of people have a propensity to procrastinate. But they wonder why some people succeed and other people don't. A lot of it has to do with procrastination. You know, some people sit there and be like, man, how did you how did you figure this stuff out already? They saying that because they waited till the last minute to get it done. Now they ain't got no time to figure it out. But I'm over here getting it done on the first day and already got the action plans in case, the alternatives in place just in case it don't go through. So as soon as plan A don't work, I'm already on plan B. Hell, even while I got plan A in the works, I'm already calling plan B to get prepared. Just sit, on, sit on standby, sit on standby. We might be coming through. I'm already, I'm already doing it. That's... Just how that's just how I operate. I mean, maybe they could say it's military in me, but no. Nah. If you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. That's that's my philosophy, and I will always hold on to that. Yeah, and I, I often hear like the excuse, like, oh, but I'm too busy. I've got work, I do this. Like, I don't think there's any excuse to just not getting stuff done that needs to be done. I think that if it's important, it needs to be done, regardless. You've got to make time, you gotta create time. And especially I don't think there's any excuse because I know how busy I am. I know how busy Kirby is and stuff still gets done. So when there's people that have nothing going on, but just their day job and family life, you got to make time somewhere. Um, But no, it's just, this is something I just have been seeing often. And I'm like, man, this is, this is annoying. Cause I hate it too. I hate procrastination. It's just, yeah. the one the one that gets me the one that gets me is taxes only finally now alex you know well you know how complex mine is i know how complex yours is getting most people just doing 1040s (laughs) (laughs) you got you know they just got one w2 to put in there tax tax day is every day on the same day all the time and then people wake up, oh man, taxes. I miss my taxes. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get K1s. I gotta get 1099s. I gotta get all I gotta get I gotta get uh 1098s from banks from multiple properties. I gotta get all that stuff in before I file. They got one W2 to file. And they missed the tax day. It blows my mind every year. Every year. And I just sit there and be like, what the hell am I missing? <laughs> but my life was so simple and I only had a W-2. As soon as I got my W-2, all right, go do the taxes. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's, that's, am I lying? <laughs> that's literally why I brought this up because there's been so many people that message me 
last minute. When is the due date? And it's like, they're texting me on like April 15th. And I'm like, today? <laughs> oh my you only have to upload like a 1099 or a 1W2. And yeah, it's it's hilarious. They, and they usually, I mean, at the bare minimum, they get the they get their 1099 or their W2 the 1st of February. That's probably at the latest. Maybe it's like 1% that might get it at the end of February. But they damn sure ain't getting it on April 14th. Exactly. The only people that the only people that should be should be filing taxes after April 15th is people that receiving K1 statements that own multiple businesses and stuff because they got to get paperwork from everywhere. They got to get all the paperwork in before they do their taxes. And then of course, the CPA, the tax person, they got to find out where the deductions at and stuff like that. But besides that, Besides that, it should be easy peasy. Get it filed. You know, you can go to H and R Block if you want to pay it. You got to You on your line? You online doing YouTube and all these other social media sites all day? Why not? Why not pull up a TurboTax and uh, press those buttons in? I mean, they tell you what buttons to press. They tell you what to look at to get it. <laughs> but nobody has time. It's Twenty four hours in a day, but nobody has time. And that oh that's it's, that's the epitome of pissing me off right there. The only said guys, make sure to not procrastinate. Leave a comment down below, share, subscribe, like. We'll see you guys in the next one.